Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Akers. I've been in practice with nephrology since 1980 when I began my training at the University of Texas Southwestern in Parkland Hospital in Dallas, Texas. I selected that area because I enjoyed taking care of kidney patients, the problems that they have, and the special complexity that they had. I came to Greenville in 1982, and several years after I came here, six of us went together and formed Carolina Nephrology, and we've been together ever since, growing and expanding now to 12 physicians and nurse practitioners. I've enjoyed taking care of the patients for the last 30 years because the problems they have interest me and I enjoy the complexity of the illnesses in trying to take better care of the patients that have these disorders. Today, I've got an approved recipe by a renal dietitian for risotto rice. And we'll go through this cooking process with you. It is a little bit scary, but I'm sure you all have the skills to do this the intensity of it is in the time because you have to babysit or watch over this recipe because the starch can stick to the pan while you're cooking it. And that's the hardest part about the whole thing. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, you get a, about a six or eight inch diameter pan like I have here. And it's preheated on this oven. It then, um, what you would need to do is place it on a medium heat. Uh, too high and it'll cause the rice to stick, too low and you won't be able to cook the rice efficiently. And what I have pre-measured here is two tablespoons of olive oil, although you could use another vegetable oil, and two tablespoons of butter or margarine. And you put this into your preheated pan. Stir it around a little bit to make sure everything's mixed and melted. And then you take one onion, medium size, and you can see I have it pre-prepared here, chopped finely. And what we want to do first in our preheated pan with the oil in it is to cook our onion, just to soften it a little bit. It'll add a little flavor and texture to the recipe. And this will take two or three minutes to cook the onion to the texture that you want it. Now while you're cooking your onion, you can measure out your others. Right here we have a cup of risotto rice, or boreal rice. It's an Italian rice and it's a little bit different than the standard rice. There's a different texture to it, has a little different flavor and a different size. And you cook it differently, not the way you do normal rice. In here for the end, I have a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, which I'm sure by the dietitian is okay for your diet, but just a quarter of a cup. And on the other side, I have a pre-measured cup of broth. And the broth can be any type of broth. This one, as you'll see, is a reduced sodium, which is important for our kidney and dialysis patients. And you'll need between three and four cups to do this recipe. <clears throat> now, we've got the onions kind of simmering a little bit. They're nice and tenderized. And so now we want to add the rice to the hot pan. And what we're going to do is heat up this cup of rice that we put in here. We mix it in with the onions and the oil and the butter. And you want to coat the rice and heat it up. And this is going to take two or three minutes to coat the rice and get it heated up for the next step. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a cup of our broth each time, or roughly, cup to a half cup. And you put it into the hot rice and oil and onions and now the cooking starts because the starch is going to be released from the rice and so it will tend to stick a little bit and the liquids will be absorbed into the rice at the same time along with the flavors of the broth and whatever spices again. And what you want to do is you don't want to boil it, you just want it to just barely bubble so that the rice cooks and absorbs the liquid as you're cooking it. And you don't want the rice swimming you can see here we're getting a little thickening. The rice is starting to absorb some of the rice and the butter and the other spices. And we're gonna allow that to cook and thicken up a little bit and we're gonna gradually add our liquid to it as we cook this rice. And it will take between 30 and 45 minutes to do this. Now, at this point we've cooked in around four cups of broth and just a little bit extra water because the rice wasn't quite finished. But now I'm tasting it for the last time, I hope. 
the rice has a nice smooth texture, it has a give, it doesn't have the crunch where the rice isn't finished. And now we have, as you can see, a little bit of thickness to the broth around the rice. The rice is solid white. And now we're going to put our finishing touch, which is what I like, is Parmesan cheese. This is just a quarter of a cup. Again, the dietitian said this is okay. This would be an excellent side dish, but you can perk it up a little bit or spice it up a little bit if you want to add spice, or you can convert it into a main dish by adding something else to it, and that's our next step. What we can do to spice it up is if you like shrimp in grits, you'll love risotto and shrimp, and that makes a delicious main course the whole thing. Serve it with a salad or perhaps a side vegetable. That gives you a couple of good choices. You've got your basic risotto mix here with a little bit of cheese. You've got some options with different spices. And certainly you've got some options with vegetables, meat, chicken, etc. So, not only is it healthy, but it's delicious. I want to thank you for joining us for this little episode of Cooking with Carolina Nephrology. And we'll see you the next time.